Hello there, welcome back to the Closet Historian. So here you can see I have bangs, and today I decided to show you how I've been doing my hair, still retro and quite vintage looking with those bangs when I don't wear them down. Of course I also do have this undercut here in the back as well, so basically nearly a third of my hair is missing from when I'm styling it now. But uh, even, even with this haircut, I am still able to do retro hair, and I will show you how I do that today. So of course, first I'm just going to give my hair a quick brush and get out the majority of the tangles, of course. I'm going to be curling my hair with a curling iron, so we're doing a, a heat set today like I normally do. Um, and then I will show you how I incorporate these bangs into the style, basically. So I'm just going to separate my hair into sections, as is quite usual for me. If you've watched any of my hair tutorials, you know I, I love to section things apart. So I'm going to take from the ear up on each side here sort of up into where my bangs are basically. So taking a section from the ear to the top of my head on each side and clipping those out of the way on top of my bangs for now while we work on the majority, the back of my hair here. Um, which of course, luckily I do have less now. I can't recommend an undercut enough if you have a lot of hair because uh, you can achieve quite a similar look and you have less work to do back there. So if you have thick hair, consider it. Uh, it's quite, quite useful. So now normally for the back of my hair, I would take a section from ear to ear across the back of my head like this, boop, just across. But of course I don't have much hair there now. So I have to go up a little bit higher now. So I just go up about an inch above my ears and then cut across for that first slice across the back. And I just pin the rest of my hair. As you can see, it's not, not a perfect section, but I'm just going to pin the rest of my hair or clip it on top of my head here out of my way while we do this first horizontal, horizontal slice here. Um, so I'm just going to spray that with a little bit of heat protectant spray and then I'll go over the other items that we're going to be using today since I forgot. So I have this heat protectant spray from Kenra here. And I have some alligator clips and also some pin curl clips because I will be pinning my, my curls to cool as I normally do. I've got a couple of bigger hair clips of course for sectioning my hair, a rat tail comb, a regular hairbrush, a denim styling brush in this case, and bobby pins and a clip. We'll see what we end up using to style it in the end here. Every every time is different. All right, so back to getting things started. I'm just going to spray my hair with a little bit of heat protectant here and brush through, get any tangles out of that. Then I'm just going to break this into four smaller little sections and just curl those facing down with my Hot Tools curling iron here. This is a three quarter inch curling iron, I believe. So I'm just curling those down and under like I do in every tutorial, every damn tutorial on this channel. You will notice I curl my hair down and under unless I'm doing something very specific, which is rare. And then I will wrap the hot curls around my finger as per usual and pin them into place with a pin curl clip as I, as I am normally do. I will just take another section here, do the same, curling down under towards my neck here, curl it around my finger, into place, and pin it down. I do pin these all in the same direction as well, in this uh, for this set in particular. I do hold my ears <laughs> down a little bit as well, so I don't end up burning them. But I just pin those curls to cool, so those are those first four curls there. There's not much to pin them to back there right now, but that's all right. And so for the back, I'm going to split it into two sections, the uh, bigger sections here. Again not, you know, evenly or cleanly. I'm just sectioning it off so that I can get the bulk of this curled. I'm not doing a perfect sectioning job here. It doesn't really matter. So I'll just pin one half out of the way while I curl this side. I'm just gonna run my fingers through it to get out any tangles once again, and then take another horizontal slice out of the bottom of that and pin the rest away. It's a lot of watching me section my hair, isn't it? All right, so this little slice back here, I'm going to again spray with heat protectant just to keep my ends from getting fried from doing heat styling like this. Then comb through it again to get out any tangles and to distribute that product a little bit more. And then section out a smaller bit, pin the rest away and curl away. Again, just curling down and under like I normally do. In fact, I will curl this same direction down under, wrapping around my finger to pin for this entire section here and the other side of the back as well. So we will speed through this, uh, basically. If you wish to see exactly what I'm doing, you can, of course, slow me down. Down there in the player on YouTube, there's a section where you can either speed me up or slow me down. And feel free to slow me to half speed if you should so desire to hear what I sound like when I sound like this. And, uh, you know, watch me at a slower pace here. But really, I am just 
taking little sections out of that big section and curling things down and under and pinning them. I am going to leave all of this in. I'm not really cutting out any uh, of me doing this. I'm just speeding it up because I just want you to be able to slow it down and watch if you should so desire to do so. Um, I didn't really want to snip any of it out um, just so you can see my full set. But of course, it just really is just curling everything down and under until I get to the top of my head here. So that's one side done. Oh, and my arms are tired. I'm gonna actually take out this first front side section on this side. So that little section we separated to begin with, and I'm gonna separate this into two curls. So again, I'm just gonna spray with heat protectant, take the top of it and curl that. And then I will pin these into standing pin curls, which means they're just lifted off the head instead of laid flat like the rest in the back are, which you will see how I do that. Just again, wrapping around my finger into a little standing curl, pinching it off my finger and then putting a clip in there so that it stands up just you know kind of a I, I call it the George Washington look you know it's a little bit 18th century man's wig this uh look here and we are just going to pin this second curl in place as well and let those cool while we do some more so that's one side of my head pretty much done just everything going down of course and now we will do the other bulk of the back of my hair here and we'll just be doing that in the same exact way as I did the other side. And of course, again, I will speed through most of this. This is quite similar to a lot of the other like heat set videos here on my channel, but I have been getting some requests lately um, just asking how I've been doing my hair and hiding my bangs. So I just wanted to do a full sort of get ready with me hair edition uh, situation video here. Uh, so you can see how I've been doing my hair lately. This is basically just, I guess, how my set has been modified to accommodate that back undercut and my bangs. I have been really impressed with how uh, easy it is to uh, style my hair retro even with the undercut and the short bangs. Um, it makes me think, why didn't I do this ages ago? Um, so uh, I've been, I definitely think it's not only possible, but actually uh, quite easy to work with this haircut and do retro styles, surprisingly. If my hair were a little longer, I think it would be really cool to do a full like 1940s poodle with all of my hair on top of my head and then have the undercut up the back. Um, but my hair is not quite long enough to manage such a style yet. Maybe I'll let it grow out a little bit in the summer and then I will try that for a fully vintage and modern haircut fusion there. All right, now that the back is fully done, I will do this other side front section here, the same as I did on the other side. Get those bangs out of my way. Just pin that back so we can have room to work here. And I will just, again, spray this and curl it. You can see what that section looks like there. It's sort of a triangle shape because my bangs are cut in a triangle. So it comes down from the top from a point there to above my ear. Just brush out those tangles again, and then separate into two sections to curl. Again, just wrapping around my fingers like I did on the other side and pinning those into standing pin curls so that they will cool nicely into a little bit more volume, voluminous shape here. All right, now the bangs. Now, I don't get really fancy here. Really, I do just, oh, this is what the rest of the set looks like. Gorgeous, am I, am I right? Especially with no eye makeup on, which I have my brows on, but no other eye makeup on here because I was about to film a tutorial. So I'm just gonna brush out any tangles in those, spray them with a little heat protectant as well. You don't want your bang bangs getting frizzy and fried. I'm just gonna take a little bit of bang here and I'm going to just curl them all in the direction that my hair will be parted in, basically. Um, this will result in some layering that pokes out, but it's, I'm really not being very perfect with this. It does not really matter. I'm just trying to get a little bit of volume at the roots here by curling these bangs in the general direction I will be sweeping them in. All right, grab this bit that came out of the curling iron quite a bit here and just wrap it into a curl. And so as you can see, they're not like very structured curls or anything. 
and I'm just going to spray that so that it keeps its volume. And then I'm actually just going to wait for every all of this set to cool down. It's uh, a lot of these curls are still a little bit warm, so I'm just going to wait for it to cool, and then we will come back and continue. Yes, perfection. All right, now that we are cooled down a little bit, and my curtain is doing something. Well, a little bit strange, uh, whatever. Uh, I will just go ahead and start taking out all of these pins from the set now that it is cooled down. Letting your curls cool in their curl pattern like this just helps the curl both stay and just take a little bit uh, stronger, at least it does for me and my hair type. So here's the curls we've been left with here. I'm just gonna start breaking those up with my fingers, combing through them with my fingers, breaking them apart. Now, of course you can just keep doing this and make a really fluffy curly set, it's rather appropriate for the 30s 40s you can make it work for the 50s you can you can do a lot with a lot of curl with a fluffy curl i suppose but i'm just breaking up my curls now that they are all set i'm going to take my denim styling brush and tame some of the frizzier curls here into curl like shapes again um, now that we've you know fluffed the majority of it all so here is what the parting kind of looks like i'm going to take a deep side part over here and we'll be using this hair to sort of hide the bangs later so we need a little bit more from this side and luckily a deep side part works well to for a vintage look and for hiding bangs so we'll incorporate that over here I'm just going to comb through that a little bit so it's c more convinced to behave and play on this side here we are <laughs> And so I'm just going to run my fingers through the curls in the back. I just kind of tame, I, I brush I brush out all the curls with my fingers and then I sort of tame them into a shape that I like with my fingers once again. So I kind of just pull on sections and spray once I see something I like. So I really don't brush the back of my hair uh, unless I'm doing a smoother page boy, but of course I'm just wrangling curls here. And now we will play with this side first. I just will run my fingers through it and play with it a little bit just with my hands to see if it will fall in a way that I like and if it doesn't. Uh, here you just see me brushing through it a little bit to tame the frizz and then playing with it again. Um, just kind of play with it until you like it and then if you don't like it, take a comb and play with that until you like that. Um, this is kind of my method here. So if it lays nicely, I'll leave it without a comb and if it needs to behave or be wrangled in, I will put a side comb in or some bobby pins until I like it. So now that I have that one side in a shape that I like, I'm just spraying what I like to keep into, into place. So this is one side of my head looking reasonable, and now we have to deal with the other side. So again, just running my fingers through and breaking up the curls and tangles on this side. We are going to throw some back combing in up here. So I just grab a section like so, not really caring how much bang or how much other hair I have in my hand. I'm just taking all the hair that would be there, whether it's lengths or bang and just putting a little bit of back coming in there closer to the root and one more for for luck which actually my hair was not behaving this day because of course as soon as you turn the camera on uh is the day that your hair will not behave so this is actually a bit of more of a struggle this time because i was filming it for you funny how that is anyway so i'm just brushing my hair quite forward so that like section we took when we were doing the deep side part, I'm brushing it quite forward because we're going to be using that to sort of conceal the bangs here. So it's a little bit of a, of a comb over effect here. All right, just running my fingers through all these curls again, seeing how they're going to behave for the day. So I kind of just put my fingers through my bangs like so, and then I hold them quite upward and I spray it holding it like that. And then I will keep holding while that hairspray um, sets or uh, I guess dries. And so we can keep that volume in there. And then I just tuck the ends of the bangs underneath that front section of hair. So I'm kind of trying to make it look like it's just a front swoop. So I'm hiding the ends underneath the lengths of my hair. So you can see I'm just holding them with my hand so everything stays in place up there while I coax the rest of the curls into a shape that I like. Um, so kind of just convincing my bangs to pretend that they are not bangs. Um, this is the real secret technique here uh really just holding them into place where i want them and brushing the rest of my hair over it and playing with it with my fingers until it does as i desire or looks good enough to call it done when your arms get quite tired you know so we're starting in to get into a sort of shape that i like here again just tucking those bangs underneath that front wave um, so they look like they're part of the wave really and we're getting somewhere here just coax these curls poke them around 
roll them around your fingers if you have to. <laughs> here I am getting frustrated, so I'm going to go back in here and kind of like redo that whole process because again, since I was filming for you, it wasn't really working this day. Usually it, it doesn't take this long for my hair to behave, but you know, it, it knew the camera was on, it was camera shy. What are you going to do? So here I am just brushing. You can see how you could quite easily get a smooth wave out of this kind of thing. Um, but of course I was leaving it quite curly this day. So again, just holding my bangs in place with my hand while I play with the rest of it with my other hand. And we start getting something that's actually acceptable. Just brush that last curl into a little bit smoother. Just a lot of poking and prodding going on here. And just moving my bangs up underneath the curl and coaxing them to behave. So we're, get, we're, we're getting somewhere now. Now I try and make sure that the lower half of my hair is like hanging the same above my like shoulders. Like, so I have the same distance between my curls and my neck on either side. Just kind of keeps things looking even. And so I'm just going to keep poking flyaways and curls inside and spraying where I like. Obviously there's that one frizzy curl in the back that we can see that I could not because alas, my tripod is a stack of mirrors or I mean a, a stack of mirrors. My tripod is a stack of books and is blocking my mirror. So I can't see that frizzy curl in the back. So he's just going to live there. Um, but I'm just prodding everything into place some more, spraying my bangs so that they will stay up looking not like bangs anymore. And this is pretty much the finished style. Of course, if I did not have my stack of books tripod, I would be able to see a couple of those curls that are doing some strange things in the back. But from the front, we're looking reasonable now. And this is the finished style I got for this day. It turns out different every time. Uh, yes, I have no eye makeup on. Just, uh, I'm aware. I'm looking a little bit scary like that. But this is the, the finished style of this day. Um, of course, again, I would love to tame those curls in the back if I could see them, but here we are. Uh, this is the finished retro hair with an undercut and bangs, but you would never know, would you? Thank you all as always for tuning in today, and I will see you again soon. Bye.